guys, welcome back to my weekly vlogs. This is weekly vlog 118, I believe. No, 119. It's Tuesday, as per usual, and I have been at the computer all morning. Actually, for the last two days, I've been getting up super early and I've been making Matthew's breakfast for him to take to work. He's struggling, bless him, to get up on the morning with it being so cold and dark. And our central heating has broke. Someone is coming to fix it tomorrow, hopefully. Um, I keep managing to get it to come on so it's not freezing in here. But it just isn't working properly. Like, on a morning, it won't come on. Like, I have to press all sorts of buttons and it's probably not good. But don't worry, someone's coming to fix it tomorrow. So yesterday was my weekly vlog day. Um, emails, since I got done so early, since I was up so early helping Matthew. And then I had my exercise class. I am back on my healthy eating. I don't even know if I told you guys that I wasn't really on it. But for the last few weeks, I've been a bit naughty. So I'm definitely back on it. And I really tried hard in my exercise class last night. And I feel good. This does not want to focus on me. So today I have been doing princess rags and emails all morning. So I've just finished doing that and I'm going to get ready and record some videos. But before I do that, I thought I would ring up Disney World and pay off, well, the booking line for Disney World, not just ring the castle and be like, oh, hey, Cinderella. But if you don't know, I still haven't done an announcement video, honestly, I'm terrible. But me and Matthew booked Disney World back in July. Lord, I can't believe it's November. And we're going to Disney World next year. And every month we've just set ourselves like, an amount to pay off every month and I ring up every month and I pay off an amount you can do that you don't have to pay it in full you can pay off amounts and we just find it better that way because then it means it's paid off and then I don't spend it <laughs> so annoyingly I have just realized that I have deleted all of the footage that I have up to now of me booking and organizing the Disney World trip I'm not even joking I'm so annoyed I recorded everything from um, booking it uh, to setting up my My Disney experience on the app to ordering our magic bands, you name it. I recorded everything and my computer is getting really low on storage. So I was going through all my weekly vlogs, uh, probably about two weeks ago, and just getting rid of old footage that I didn't need. Just collect, just literally thingy in it all and press and delete, control all, delete, whatever. And yeah, I've just realised. I realised a few days ago and I wasn't sure and I've just checked and I have. I've deleted all the footage. So that's really annoying. So don't worry, I'm still going to do like how I booked it. It's not a problem. I can just record it again. It's just now I'll be recording it and I've already done it. Whereas before it was how I lit like I didn't actually know what I was doing I was just kind of like if anything it w I don't know how helpful the footage would have been because it was very like I don't know what I'm doing how do I order my magic bands whereas now it'll be like it will be set up but I can be like this is how I put in these details and yeah I don't know Ugh, it was a mistake. I'm still going to do an entire How I Booked Disney World video and how I do all my fast passes and everything like that. Like, I haven't booked anything yet other than I put in my details in the app, like the My Disney Experience thing, and I ordered the Magic Bands. Like, I haven't done my schedule yet, like, for what we're going to want to book for each day. I haven't done the fast passes. I haven't done the restaurant reservations. Like, I haven't done anything. So it's not that bad that I've deleted it. I can still save this. It's fine. It's just a little bit annoying. Anyway, to start off the day, I normally do this part of my ringing up Disney World in my video on how I do it. But, I, oh, I don't know. I just thought I would start off the day with me ringing Disney World and paying off mine and Matthew's next amount of money. Um, So let's do it because I absolutely love ringing up Disney World. It's so fun to hear their like, accent and it just gets me in the mood and they're really kind and they're like, have a magical day. And I'm like, ah! So let's ring up Disney World, pay off mine and Matthew's next amount of money. I will still include these in my booking thing, um, but you don't need to see every single one. It's just the same every month. I literally ring up and anyway, I just thought it would be a fun way to do the weekly vlog. I don't know if I'm making sense. So let's ring them. I've saved it in my phone. Walt Disney World balance, I've called it. I forgot I'd saved that. Make a new booking to Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. Press one. Can you For hear? questions on an existing booking, press two. For dining-related inquiries, press 3. For website and My Disney Experience assistance, press 4. If you would like to make a partial or full payment to your booking, press 2. I knew it was 2. I didn't hear our Your problem. call may be monitored or recorded for quality and training purposes. Thank you for calling the Walt Disney Travel Company. My name is Dimit Keen. How may I assist you today? Hiya, can I pay off some money off my balance, please? Of course. Can I get your first concern, please? Um, it's Sarah Porter. September next year for 14 nights at All-Star Sports. I'll go ahead and send an updated invoice to that email address that we have on the booking for you. Thank you. My pleasure, Sarah. Anything else I can do for you? No, that was everything. Thanks. Oh, my pleasure. Well, there is a server that follows. Appreciate any feedback. You have a great day. Thank you. 
Okay. Bye -bye. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. Could you even hear? Her? She was really quiet today. Um. But yeah. So there's the next payment done. And yeah, we're all up to date. Fantastic. Just just gotta keep going with those payments. Uh, still need to book our flights. 10 to 1, so I've got time to do some videos. It's fine. So the lighting's probably really weird because the sun, like the light is over there, like the window's over there, so excuse the weird shadows on my face. Um, I was just finishing my lunch. It's getting on, it's like, I ended up like, I finished my lunch and then I ended up doing like emails and things and Matthew will be home in just over an hour. I'm kind of tempted to go back up to the computer and edit the video I was gonna edit tomorrow and, and and then put that up for tomorrow night and then just record all day tomorrow because I had to do emails and stuff today. Uh, I couldn't just record as soon as I got up. So yeah, I'm kind of tempted to go back to the computer and just edit and stuff. Um, swap. Basically, I'm just swapping my days around because it's getting on. Quickly stuck the camera on because I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys. I finished sorting out my car um, so there was a load of stuff in the hallway off Christina, my last car. If you don't know, I got a new car. And uh, yeah, I had to just like sort all the old stuff out from Christina and sort all of like Andy's stuff. So I now have like my tripod in there for my weekly vlogs. I have my phone holder in there. I have a proper cable in there to plug my phone in. Like I sorted it all out. I put a new stinky in it, a new like air freshener. And yeah, everything is sorted out in Andy apart from one thing and that is floor mats. So I have floor mats from Christina, but they were black with a blue trim, which to be honest, I was never a massive fan of, but me Nana bought me them. And I'm not gonna say no to someone buying me some car mats. Like she, she brought them home. Like I think she got them at the shops and she was like, I got you these mats today when I first got Christina. And I was like, thank you, appreciate that. So with Andy, I didn't want to put the black and blue in cause that does not go with her like gray cream burgundy aesthetic. I mean black and blue and then you know grey cream and burgundy it just doesn't really go does it so I thought I'll order myself some new mats on Saturday and they just came literally two seconds ago so that's why I stuck the camera on and I thought we would open them up have a look at them and then go and stick them in Andy it is minus two so it's absolutely freezing I'm checking my phone for the temperature it's already open I didn't do that so hopefully they haven't fallen out and they are still all in there already I'm looking at them and I'm like these bit different to what they looked like online <laughs> so you can see they are can you see that they are bright pink <laughs> oh these are a bit more they're a different shade of pink to what they look like online and if you think in really Sarah pink I looked all over for some nice like gray light gray um car mats and i just couldn't find any there was only like dark gray and black and i just don't really want black in the car there isn't a lot of black in andy um if you have no idea what i'm talking about check out my weekly vlog from two weeks ago i got a new car she is delicious she is so beautiful she is so chic i love her i'm, I'm still so obsessed with that i love her i didn't think black would go matthew thought i should have just got black and yeah maybe i should have just got plain black and they would have just blended into the carpet but I don't know, I just thought I'd try something a bit different. Um, I did think cream, but then they're just gonna get really dirty. She has like cream in her. And I couldn't find burgundy ones at all. And I looked for official Fiat 500 ones and they started from 50 quid for the basic ones. And I was like, no. So I love like pink and red and like burgundy is my favorite shade of like red. So I love pink and burgundy. It's very aerial vibes, you know, when she has the red hair with the pink dress. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go for pink mats. And if it looks cheap, I'll just replace them in a couple of months when I can afford to again. I just thought I'd try it. I've never really bought any really crazy ones before. But yeah, like I was saying, these are a different shade of pink and a different material to what it said online. So these were only like 14 pound on Amazon, 13 pound. They weren't a lot. Oh my Lord, what have I bought? <laughs> Why is it a different shade of pink there to there? What are these? What? Why is that one so much darker than that one? No, wait, is that the back? Oh, I'm so... <gasps> is it only two? Oh, no, there's four. Oh, okay. Hang on, let me get these out. $13.99. Streetwise durable checker plate rubber car floor mat set. Think pink. Uh... <laughs> oh, they just look darker pink when they're in the light. 
Oh, okay, actually that's, um, they're still different to what I thought. They look a lot more pink on camera. They're almost kind of like purpley lavender in person. Um, basically, I thought online they looked really light pink, like baby pink. And I actually thought they were kind because it said rubber. I actually thought on the picture it looked like they were quite jelly-like and a little bit um, see-through. So not opaque. And I thought that would be a really subtle way of putting pink in with the burgundy. But they're not that at all. They're, um, they are rubber, but they're not like jelly see-through. Like they are metallic foot. Oh wow, they smell. Woo! That new car smell. They are like full on metallic pink. Well, I would honestly say these are like, they are pink, but they're quite lavender-ish. They're nice and heavy, so they shouldn't move around. <laughs> so yeah, I got them. I'm not gonna send them back or anything. They are different to what I thought, but they're still hilarious and pink. And I don't know, I still think it might go for burgundy. I'm all for pink and burgundy and pink and red. I know a lot of people aren't. Like I used to love it when I had baby pink hair and I would put my burgundy lipstick on or my red lipstick. Like, oh, those are the only two lip colors I wear really. Um, burgundy and red. Apart from I have Jeffree Star's doll parts, which is like a rosy pink. Anyway, random, but yeah, this is them. So there's two small ones two bigger ones i bought them myself off amazon 13.99 if anyone's interested i will leave a link below if i remember if anyone is interested but i just thought they were cute i really don't want to make andy tacky like i used to have in christina i had teddies i had hank on the back and um, parcel shelf like the boot cover thing i had um like a hanging hammock teddy from that i was gifted when i was 18 i had a 21 teddy hanging um i had all sorts of stuff in christina but with andy i just want to keep her a little bit more like chic and grown up so i don't even have hank hank's now upstairs in the bedroom um hank from finding dory my plush who was on the black the back shelf i'm sure i showed you him maybe once or twice um yeah so basically there is nothing in andy other than like my phone holder my camera holder the, the the gold wire for connecting my phone to charge and my nice stinky yankee candle air freshener like i'm trying to keep that really grown up so let's go stick these in and see what we think they're gonna have to stay in anyway because it's been like over two weeks now without any car mats so even if they look not very good i'm still just gonna leave them in because it's better than the carpet getting all ruined and then i'll have to get some other ones in the future if they look really bad but I just didn't know what else to go for because she's very themed inside. We'll try them. Let's go stick them in. So here's my baby. So as you can see, there's literally no, what you call them, mats. And on my side, I've been using this. Um, so you can see there's already a couple of little bits. Uh, it's a bit too cold to hoover. I don't know. Actually, I'm really tempted to just go and grab the hoover and hoover it before I put the mat down that side as well because obviously I've had like Matthew or Kelly or me in there when Matthew's been driving and I might just give our dashboard a little clean but yeah I basically put this phone holder in at the weekend this stinky my camera tripod is that and then this gold wire so I think I might just quit oh and also look at this little s did I even show you this I bought this little rose gold s and stuck it there that's the only thing though like I'm trying to keep it nice like I haven't done anything in the back um, but yeah, I'm going to go and get the hoover and just quickly hoover the front and then I'll put the mats in because I just really want to keep it nice. So I'm going to go and grab the hoover. Okay, so I've given her a quick hoover. I'm going to put the mats in, but I'm going to have to put you on the floor and then I'll just have to show you afterwards. gonna lie they're a little bit big <laughs> they're definitely too big <laughs> Okay, so my neighbor's on the drive and he's like staring at me really weird. So I just thought I'd quickly show you. But this is basically what the mats look like. They are too big. And yeah, I don't think it goes very well, but they'll do for now. 
Okay, so I've come back inside. Um, yeah, I was minding my own, hoovering, cleaning my car, and then right as I went to show you, my neighbour was on the drive, and they're really weird. Like, I'm sure everybody has that weird neighbour. I can't explain it, I don't want to go into detail. Yeah, sorry I didn't get a chance to talk when I showed you the mats at the end there, but I was like sneaky doing it so that they had, my back was to them so they couldn't see my camera. The mats don't look good, do they? Like, no. You know what it is? Also, I'm not sure if I put them in the right way, but regardless of whether they were in the right way or not, they're too big. So one, they are way too big, and two, they make it look so tacky. The thing is, it's like, there's two sides of me. There's the, I like to sometimes be a chic, fashionable grown up. And then there's the, I just want to wear big, crazy, colorful clothes. So my car is the chic grown up side and the mats are like, let's just go crazy and have some bright pink metallic mats in there. And it doesn't go, story of my life. It's a big conflicting thing for me. I don't think I've spoke about it much, but honestly half the time, I just feel like my fashion is probably quite hard to keep up with. Like, you know when people have like specific genres of fashion that they clearly wear, I just feel like I bounce all over the place. Like I like so many different types of fashion and anyway, it doesn't go. Those mats don't go in that car. So I love the mats. I was like, every time I look at it, I'm like, but one, I love the car's aesthetic. You can see, the car is very heavily themed. It is like, you know, cream steering wheel, checks on the seats, like it's burgundy inside, you can see the dashboard. So she's gorgeous. And I like the pink mats, the pink metallic mats. In, in Christina, for example, in my last car would have been like, yes! And I used to have a pink fluffy steering wheel cover for her, but Matthew kept taking it off when he would drive the car, and then in the end I just forget to, uh, forgot to keep putting it back on. So it's like, you know when you have like older cars that you don't mind putting tack in them but when you get newer nice cars they speak for themselves like especially that one it's heavily themed inside i keep saying that but it is so i love the mats but i don't love them in the car so they don't look good and they bring a different a different kind of muddled aesthetic to the car like normally i get an andy and it's like yeah like she's so pretty i know i keep saying she's like chic but i just feel like she is and those mats are not so they are not what i thought they were going to be compared to look what they look like on amazon so i've given her a clean and i've put the mats in i think it's better that the mats are in rather than not in because at least it's going to keep the car nice and like clean and the floors tidy and clean and not damaged off people's feet they're in for now and they're funny but yeah i need to swap them i might see if once i've swapped them if like my sister wants them or something because they are really pretty they just don't go in that car so matthew will be home in like just over half an hour so we'll probably just have some tea and i don't know watch tv so if i don't get back to you then i will speak to you guys tomorrow for a day of filming morning everyone it is the next day it's wednesday I'm up and about, I've been quite a few hours now, it's 25 to 11. I have started my makeup to do YouTube videos today, that's what I'm doing, I'm recording YouTube videos. For the past hour, I have been tidying. Um, I just wanna make it nice and tidy before I film so that it doesn't get really messy after I finish filming. And then when I finish filming, I can just tidy up what I've done in the videos and then it's tidy again. I don't know if that makes sense. And also I have, someone coming over to fix my central heating. So it's not really messy or anything, but it's just like, I don't know, like I wanna hoover the stairs and upstairs anyway. Like I've been meaning to do it, like we didn't get to do that over the weekend. So the fact that there's gonna be someone in my bedroom fixing my boiler, I was like, this is a good excuse to hoover. So I'm gonna hoover and just do a little bit of tidying like I've already started. Got my music on, I'm listening to Sabrina Claudio. I've just started recently, listen, who there? I've just started recently listening to her over the past maybe months. Uh, she's amazing. She was actually touring in Manchester, but it's sold out. Like I found out about her touring the day before she actually did Manchester. I think it was like really last minute. And I went on and it already sold out. So kind of gutted because she would have been really cool to see. She's not like really huge, but she's getting there. So I would have liked to have seen her, but it's sold out. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> Sabrina Claudio, that's her there. Da -da -da, not sponsored just like her. I just booked myself in for my eyelashes and eyebrows so if you remember I had that eyebrow lish li what <sighs> I had that eyebrow lift oh I wasn't weekly vlogging I don't think I was weekly vlogging wait a minute so has it been that long since I've done it did I have like two weeks off or something three weeks off and I went and had it done 
I can't remember. I don't think I was recording when I think I took like a three week break a few months ago and I had my eyelashes lifted, curled, and my eyebrows HD'd. Um, I'll be honest, HD doesn't work for me. My eyebrows are where they are is where they are. So this is drawn on. Uh, HD is kind of growing them back into a shape, but there's nothing to grow back. So more, I'm just getting them shaped nicely and then she dyes them, which I like, but I don't mind paying for the HD rather than waxing and dyeing separately. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, and I'm getting my eyebrows done. So last time I had the LVL lash lift. In fact, I may as well just sit down and talk about it for a second. So my eyelashes are really long and really straight. And when I was younger, I could curl them and they would stay curled all day, but I had lots of different types of semi-permanent lashes on over the years ones that they stick on and they stay on a couple of weeks and i always spent a lot of money on them but even spending a lot of money on them doesn't necessarily mean that they're a good place but you know i did my research and everything but honestly the last time i got the semi permanent on she ruined my eyes um not in a dangerous way like she could have made me blind or anything but in a she was really bad at it and it wasted my money and there were like spiders legs it was ridiculous like you guys know me i'm quite like lazy when it comes to beauty um like i'm not like doing my makeup like every day like i used to when i was younger like i hate doing my hair like i like to think i have standards but the really as easy as possible standards so anyway um basically i just want my eyelashes to be curly or to be able to be curled like they were when they were younger before they got ruined by semi-permanent ones and i hate putting eyelashes on you know the ones that you just put on for the day hate them used to wear them all the time and i just can't be bothered and i can't get them to stick down like i have really like big eyes and they just don't stick down and oh don't even get me started so they basically curl your lashes up and it doesn't work for everyone but it did work for me and it worked really really well it lasts six weeks but for me it lasted almost two months and then there was about a two to three week period where one or two of them were still really curly but the rest were straight. So yeah, this morning I was, I'm just talking out loud, I don't know if this is interesting, but I have booked myself in for the my hair in two weeks, just before my trip and my eyelashes and eyebrows. Anyway, the guy will be here to fix my boiler in either 15 minutes or three hours and 15 minutes. He's coming between 12 and three, which is a little bit annoying <sighs> because I want to set up and fill them so I'm already, I literally just need to put my lipstick on, Batiste the crud out my hair and curl it and shove some clothes on. So I was just going to finish tidying and then I was hoping that he would get here. I can just get on with filming. But if he comes, if it, if I decide to film and then he comes halfway through a video, that's going to be really annoying. The room that I film in is the room where the boiler is. So once he comes, I can't continue filming. He'll be in that room fixing the boiler. It's going to be really awkward if I set up to film. He comes in and I go, oh yeah, come up here to the bedroom where the boiler is. And then we get into the bedroom and then there's a camera and lights facing the bed. <laughs> I've been talking a really long time. I'm going to go and continue tidying, have some lunch. Hopefully this guy comes soon and yeah start editing and if he's not going to be here for a while start filming i don't know but that's today's plans and i just thought i'd let you know what i'm going to be doing tomorrow oh man oh my back oh oh good evening guys it is the same day I definitely spoke to you earlier. Uh, the boiler man has been and fixed my boiler. That sock on the radiator. What even is that? Anyway, yeah, the boiler man came 20 minutes after I finished hoovering. Um, like, I finished tidying and I was just kind of on my phone. I made another cup of tea and, yeah, he came. And he must have been around about 30 or 40 minutes, so nothing major. He said there was no major problems, just the pressure had gotten low with the boiler or something. So he fixed it. Um, and then he left and I was like, great, I'm going to get on with filming. The plan was that I was going to do Descendants, Maleficent, uh, so like Descendants 3 movie review and Merchandise Hall, uh, Maleficent 2 movie review. Then I was going to maybe do the Lion King one, which is so overdue. I don't even know if anybody wants to see it anymore, but I kind of still want to do it. And then I was going to maybe even do the Aladdin live action review, but I've literally seen it once and it's been so long since I've seen it, so... I don't know, I might just end up leaving that one, but I do kind of want to do the Lion King one. It took me over three hours to do my Descendants 3 movie review. 
I am not joking. So I know the movie reviews take me a long time and they are quite like I always have this problem with filming. Filming like kills me. It kills my ME. It's so tiring. I don't understand how people film a load of videos in one day, get them done and get them edited and then do other things. Literally, I am dead. I am so dead right now. Yeah, it literally took me three hours and it's now, what time is it? It's six o'clock. So when I finished filming, I tidied the room back up so it's nice and tidy again. I put all the merch away and I put uh, like my camera lights away and everything and yeah, and it's six o'clock and I'm supposed to be going to an exercise class in half an hour. Uh, there is another one at half seven, but honestly, there is no way I can get up and do an exercise class right now. So I've texted Kelly and I'm like, Kelly, I can't do it. And she's texted me back and she's like, I can't really do it today either. Like, she's really tired. She was on call and stuff. So we're both just going to end up giving it a miss, which I don't like doing. Tomorrow night I'm out and tomorrow afternoon I'm out. Uh, so in the morning, I need to edit that shop with me video quick i need to get it up then i'm going out to get my eyebrows and eyelashes done then i have approximately an hour or so and i'm gonna go and get kelly a birthday present and then i'm going to see the marvel universe live which i'm really excited for so i have a full day tomorrow so i need to make sure i get up early and do that shop with me video before my appointment for my eyebrows and eyelashes like i'm not worried yeah, I'll probably, I'm so dizzy. I need to stop talking right. I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow when we go out and get and get my eyelashes and eyebrows done. And I'll go to the shops and get Kelly's present. And yeah, obviously we're going to go and see Marvel Universe. So I'll take you for that as well. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday and it's around 20 to 12. And I, I shot out of bed this morning because... Matthew slept in. So I never hear Matthew's alarm like for work. I just hear him getting up and then I've been getting up every day this week. I think I said this and making his breakfast. I always want to make his breakfast but I don't always do but this week I've been really trying to help him because he's struggling to get out of bed. Like if you guys think I'm late for everything Matthew can't get out of bed. So Matthew was late this morning Um, I never hear his alarm but I woke up and it was lighter than usual and he wasn't moving like not even like you know so I was like um and i rolled over checked my phone and i was like matthew it's five to eight and he starts work at eight o'clock and he was like oh my god so i went downstairs made his breakfast and everything so i was up a little bit later today than the last few days but still not too bad so came straight to the computer after matthew ran out the door still managed to make his breakfast though and i've just finished my editing a another shop with me video because me and kelly recorded three shop with me videos last week so or was it even the week before now yeah, it might have been. So this one is another Primark one and it's just new in fashion Christmas. So the Disney one is up from last week if you haven't seen that. And I did a Harry Potter one but it's on my IGTV on my Instagram if you haven't seen that. So I'm going to really quickly try and nip to Metro Centre because Metro Centre have said, I think I already said this, I don't know, but Metro Centre have gifted me something um, from Boo Avenue which is kind of like a lingerie and pajama store so it's only there till sunday like they can only hold it till sunday they've already held it like a week and i just haven't been into metro since they told me away all weekend and busy tomorrow so i'm going to have to go and get it today so i'm gonna have to go get it so i need to go now and be back for my eyelashes and eyebrows and then straight after my eyelashes and eyebrows i think i have like half an hour until matthew's home and then me and matthew are going straight out and we're going to go to the utility utility utilita i can't even say it, but i call it the metro radio arena it's not called that anymore but the arena in newcastle and we've been kindly gifted our tickets to see marvel universe live tonight and we get to do a special little thing before the show and meet one of the characters i'm hoping for spider-man because oh that would make me happy let's go before i'm late and i will take you with me but i am literally running around the shop so if i don't record anything i apologize but i will try Good evening guys, it's a few hours later since I last spoke to you. Um had a bit of a meh, I hate that word. Meh. A bit of a Don't use it then. I know, why did I use that? A bit of a nightmare in a um, metro. You need to go off here, darling. Uh, Where are you going? Well, we were nearly late. That would be your fault. 
anyway yeah i got to the um metro center and everything on time and oh i had a i managed to get kelly's presents but then i had a bit of a nightmare with greg's and i don't know if the till crashed or what and then because i was trying to get like a sausage roll to have back on the way home because i hadn't had any lunch and then i went and collected the pajamas from metro center's red reception so the red section reception and then they sent them back up to the head office and i was like oh no i'm gonna be late for my eyebrows and my eyelashes so i rang the hairdressers and i said i'm gonna be about 15 minutes late is that all right and they were like yeah as long as you're not any later than that so it was fine i got there bang on quarter past and i ran in the door i burst in the wall all just stood there proper chilled out and i was just like i'm here can i still have my eyes done and they were just like it's fine sarah calm down i was like okay then so i've had my eyelash and eyebrows done so this time i don't know if she's took like i like the shape of this you're rude anyway my makeup's all coming off i didn't have time to redo it so yeah i just really want my eyebrows microbladed because there's just not much to work with like especially this one this one's my droopy side but that one looks all right anyway but she's done my eyelashes as well which look really cool so i'm having my eyelashes and she's done a really good job on my brows that's the best she can do what there is to work with so i really want my eyes microbladed but one i'm scared and two it's expensive so never mind we'll maybe look into that in the future but i got home and i'd been home like five minutes and the postman came which was really good timing i thought and then another five minutes then matthew came in the door and we've come straight out so i've had my greg's sausage roll i look a bit of a you know when you get your eyebrows done it's all like red and blotchy <laughs> i look a bit of a mess but we're on our way to the utilita it's the first time i've got it right saying it once utilita. oh is that how you say it that's what I say. utilita utilita well i I just don't know why it just can't be the Metro Radio Arena anymore because that was so much easier and that's what everybody calls it anyway. Um, but yeah, the Utilita Arena to see Utilita. What? Utilita. Yes. Okay, we're on our way there to see the, I already explained earlier, the Marvel Universe Live. Um, yeah, I'm excited for this. We're actually on time as well. It starts like the little meet and greet beforehand that we've been asked to attend, which we are very grateful for. It starts at five and it's just after 22, so we're not late. Go us. I'm going to record everything for you with the help of my trusty colleague here. <laughs> uh, do you want to tell them why you slept in this morning? No. This ain't that gone. Do you want to tell them no. why you're meant to start work at 8 o'clock and at 5 to 8 you were still in bed? Mr. Physio, senior specialist, sleeping in. You've only been there a month. Two weeks. Oh, <gasps> You've been there two weeks? Yeah. Have you? This is week three. <gasps> <laughs> That's so bad! E, if you guys think I'm late for things, meet Matthew. He doesn't know how to get out of bed. That's bad, Matthew. Eight o'clock, you're supposed to be seeing patients and he was sound asleep in cuckoo land? You know that's yeah, bad. You know! Anyway, we're here now, so... Eh? No comment. No comment. We're here now, so we're gonna go in. Superhero hug for Captain America. Later. Do you want to get a 
photo, of course you can. It's not very often you meet Captain America. Not here, because Captain America's got to get ready for his awesome night tonight. That was fun. I don't know if you can hear me loud here, awesome, but I'm going to show you the little. Um, evening. So does anybody else want to have a go with this? Do you want to have a go with the mask, sweetie? The program that they've given us. Dad? Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Though. I'll show you. <laughs> Matthew's had one drink and he thinks he's drunk. <laughs> it was really nice of them to give us a nice free drink though. Ma Matthew's had a shandy and I've had, had a coke. This is a really yeah. cool book, it's huge. Oh, shiny. Get yourself in there. Should we go and find the face painter and get my face painted? Yes, what are you going to get on it? I think I want a little Spider-Man thing. There we are. No, like round my eye. Glove, and then you can have a You're so annoying. Went and um, got a little bit of a pink Spider Man going on. Like it. Why am I the only adult in the room with a painted face? That's what I keep asking myself. Right, here we are. We've just sat down. I am so excited for this to start. It looks so cool already. I'm, I'm literally beyond excited. Like, I cannot wait. Okay guys, so me and Matthew have been home maybe like 20 minutes. Also, it basically looks like I have green and blue hair now because the purple just decided to disappear overnight. I didn't even wash it. Like, I literally woke up and I was like, my hair's blue. Even Matthew was like, your hair's blue. It looks deliberate though. Anyway, tangent, very quickly there. Um, yeah, so we've just gotten home. I couldn't record my little, I kind of wanted to do a little out outro like um, at the arena, but there was music blasting in the arena and you wouldn't have been able to hear me or I would have got copyrighted. So yeah, I couldn't um, do my little outro when we were leaving and then in the car was just, you know, when it hits you and you're knackered, but I thought I'm gonna finish it because um, I always leave things till the next day. So that was really, really good. I actually really enjoyed that. Like, not that I had low expectations or anything like that. I just didn't know it was gonna be that good. I actually preferred that over Disney on Ice. Not that the Disney on Ice wasn't good, but that was insane, like that was so good. I've just had a look as well. And by the time you watch this, if you live in the Northeast, hopefully you followed me on Instagram because I've just put a little thing up on my stories, but it's actually on in Newcastle every day now till Sunday. And it's actually on three times on Saturday and twice on Sunday through the day. So that's pretty cool. And then if you're watching this after my weekly vlog goes up, it's in Manchester for a few days and then it's in Birmingham. And if you're thinking about going and you live near it, honestly, I really liked it. I did. I thought, especially the second half, it really just picked up and there was like i'm just gonna say now black widow was insane whoever that girl was that did black widow she was like hair flipping like spinning and kicking and she was like getting up like without her hands from her back she did a motorbike up a ramp and got onto the side of a building she was unreal i was like i would actually really like to meet this girl um she was she was awesome uh, she was definitely my favorite uh, black widow is my favorite anyway though so she just really did her justice uh, yeah it was really cool and um, the staff were always really lovely and stuff um i got to meet captain american who captain american captain america who i've never met before i will say i don't think he's done very many adult interactions um i've had that before with snow white years ago um, I was at the, the, the back of the queue because I, I wanted to let all the kids go first and he was kind of finished meeting this little kid and then he kind of turned around and seen me and was like and it was just a bit it was a bit awkward bless him I mean he was lovely but it was a bit awkward um but anyway he looked the part he looked really cool so it was nice to meet him obviously all different kind of character meets are going to be different some of them are like you know you can't that like, you just have full-on conversations with them some of them are really like animated and some of them are just a bit like kind of like 
let's get a picture and then that's it and yeah he just I don't think he said anything to me actually uh, but he was lovely like he let us get a picture and he was like yeah like and he fist bumped Matthew which was cool so yeah he was canny um I asked him for a hug and he went what and I was like a hug like yeah I don't think you expect an adult but he was lovely anyway um and I think he was the Captain America that was in the show and so he was really good um but no I loved that um I was trying to like discuss with Matthew whether we thought he's gone to bed now because Matthew's got work in the morning and he cannot sleep in again not like this morning yeah Matthew enjoyed it too I don't think Matthew enjoyed it as much as me not that he didn't enjoy it he just he thought it was more tailored to kids which is probably why I liked it um but no I really enjoyed it and we were trying to decide if we liked the Disneyland Paris Studios Marvel show better. Um, and we couldn't decide, but we both agreed that this one probably had more action in. There was like a lot of firing, a lot of like shooting with like um, things going off and motorbikes. And yeah, I just thought this one was really, really cool. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So yeah, if you can see it. And apparently this is not the first year it's been on. Like, so it might be back again next year. Um, I do recommend it. It was really good and I'm really grateful for um, for them gifting us our tickets as well. It was really, really nice of them to do that. So and it was nice to spend some time with Matthew. Um, but we quickly nipped to Asda on the way back. That Asda is a bit funny about me filming so I didn't film. But I bought some wrapping paper and a gift bag and a card. That was the only things that I couldn't get while I was at the shops today. Because uh, it's Kelly's birthday on Saturday but I'm seeing her tomorrow. So I'm going to wrap them now and then I'm going to get to bed. And then in the morning I'm going to do about an hour of tidying. Just the dishes and things need doing. Then I'm going to go out to my exercise class. I know I will be up early enough to do all that tidying because I'm going to get up again and do Matthew's breakfast. Someone has to get him out of bed. So yeah, that's what we're doing. So I'll let's, uh, let's wrap Kelly's presents and then I'll probably just get to bed and I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Okay, so the first thing I got Kelly because she's obsessed with pigs is the ham hooded blankie throw from Primark and it was £16 so I've just like took the price off and everything because obviously it's a gift um, but yeah I'm gonna wrap this up now um, I don't know if you can see but I got this kitty this kitty bag from Asda it was like a pound I think and um, I got princess kind of fairy wrapping paper this is all Asda uh, I've wrapped I've already done a card now sorry I did that card I just wrote it out uh, I've got a pink badge from Asda as well it says happy birthday um, I got her a snow fairy bath bomb from Lush, the gingerbread candle from Home Bargains because I always have it on in my house and she loves the smell but she doesn't have a Home Bargains near her so I got one of them and a kitty cup from Asda so yeah you can see the theme is quite similar to me like pink and princessy but she loves cats and she loves pigs so that's kind of why I've gone for that theme so let's get wrapping. Okay, so I've wrapped Kelly's presents. And I think I forgot to mention that I got her a balloon as well. So here, there's the balloon. So that's the balloon I got her. So it's basically all like pink themed. We still have a pumpkin from Halloween that we haven't carved. Uh, don't judge me. But yeah, so that's the presents I got Kelly. They don't fit in the bag, but it's the biggest bag they had. So yeah, that's the best I could do. Um, because I didn't have time to get uh, a bag and balloon and card while I was at Metro Centre today because I had to hurry out. Mind you, considering I got the balloon, bag, wrapping paper and card all in Asda, they weren't very much. They were kind of really similar prices to card factory warehouse or whatever it's called and I just always tend to go there if I need like a bunch of stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I didn't end up like having, like I always feel like if you don't go to card factory warehouse and you go somewhere else you end up spending lots but Asda's actually got really decent priced birthday stuff like I think the badge was 150 and I think they're a pound in Card Warehouse and bigger, but this one's got like pink ribbon on it. Um, like the wrapping paper was 150 and it's three meters, although it was really delicate and did rip a few times, so that might be why that's so cheap. Um, the bag I was surprised was a pound, even though it had like quite a, like a graphic on it. You can see where it's all like red because I got them waxed earlier. But my eyelashes I'm really happy with, no problems there. And my eyes would not stop watering and she managed to do such a good job. My makeup's all like coming off. My eyebrows, you can't really see this one as much because it's under this crazy nurse, but I feel like she did my eyebrows different to how she did them last time. So, funny story, I actually, you won't be able to tell, I don't think, with this on, but if this wasn't on, you'd be able to tell. One side of my face is, like, droopier and lower 
than the other. So long story short, I was too big in my mom's womb and I was a month premature and I was the biggest baby on the ward. Um, I was too big for my mom's stomach and this side of my head was completely smushed up. Like they were, they were really, really surprised that it's not still smushed up. Um, my ear took like, oh, it's funny because now my ears are so stiff. My ear was like folded over and like smushed and it took weeks to like pop back out and it didn't even need pinning or anything like it popped right back. Um, but this side of my face is lower so my eyebrows are very different. So this one's quite straight and low. I don't think you can tell with this makeup on the probably look quite similar. But last time she brought this one down and left quite a bit underneath to match it to that one. But this time she didn't, she brought it back up and it looks great. But this one now looks rubbishy and doesn't match. So I just really would like to have something a bit more like substantial there. This one look, honestly looks fine, like if both of them looked like this I'd be happy. But I definitely need to, like I have really thought about it and I'm not going to go into detail now but I have thought about getting like microblading. But that's something I have to look at in the future because I don't really have a couple of hundred like, pounds to spend on that right now. But yeah, anyway she did a really good job though with what I have to work with. Um, and my eyelashes I love. Oh I didn't realise it was that late. It's 10 to 12, I need to go to bed. Because um, I have an exercise class at half nine. And then me and Kelly are out all day tomorrow. I'll go out with Kelly and see Frozen. Um, what was I going to do tomorrow night? I do have a lot of work to do. Oh, I've got a lot of work to do tomorrow night. I've got a lot of group stuff to do for the SLP, XDLP trips. Um, and then Saturday afternoon, I'm actually going to Birmingham. So I'll talk a bit more about that on Saturday. And then I'm back on Sunday night. So yeah, I'm going to get to bed because it's getting on. <laughs> night, guys. everyone it's the next day I'm actually not feeling whoa I look a mess <laughs> I'm actually not feeling great today um I'm not ill I'm just a bit run down yesterday was quite like full-on and constant busy wow I really am a mess today it's just uh um anyway so I didn't actually go to my exercise class today I know my body and I just can't do that today um and I'm away all weekend so I'm gonna make myself really bad so um I haven't got my exercise class I have been tidying I'm nearly finished just a few pieces in the sitting room I'm actually running behind because I ended up doing some exciting stuff for the Disney farm for my next trip so yeah I'm gonna finish doing a bit of tidying I'm gonna go and have to get ready because Kelly will be here in a second and I've got a birthday present <laughs> That was my toes popping. Uh, I'm back home. I think the last time I properly spoke to you, I was saying like I'm gonna get ready because Kelly's gonna be here soon. And literally, I got in the shower and she came in. I've got a weird light on my face. There we go. Uh, yeah, she came in. And then um, it was so funny. I was like chilling out on the sofa and I was like, let's have a cup of tea. And then she was like, the movie starts in like 25 minutes. And I was like. I totally forgot that we booked it for one. I thought we booked it for half one. So that was funny. I'm going to put you here because I'm making my dinner. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm a little bit stressed about the weekend. I mean, it's probably a mix, but the cinema, I don't know if they just, well, I think they just repainted the room that we were in watching Frozen 2. Um, because as soon as we went in, it stank of paint and... It was really strong and it didn't the smell didn't go away the whole time we watched the movie and I've come out with a right headache right down here um so yeah I think it's a mix of paint and just a bit run down and a bit a bit stressed about the weekend it's just like Birmingham I'm going to Birmingham it's very far away and I don't know just for many reasons I'm a bit stressed about it I'll explain what I'm doing tomorrow I didn't really get a chance I was like we have to we're gonna go we're gonna miss the movie so we were straight out the door, straight to the cinema, obviously I can't record in the cinema, I came out and I think I recorded like a little bit, we went for a cup of tea um, and then I've, I've been back maybe about an hour, I've just posted on Instagram and caught up on some work. Um, so yeah, like you know, there's only so much I can record at the cinema because you can't record in the cinema. So I'm going to do a full like Frozen 2 movie review. I know I keep saying that about movies and I know I'm really behind on my movie reviews but I am going to try and do like catch up on them next week and um, I might even put the frozen one up before the other ones that I need to catch up on as a little 
quick talk about Frozen 2. Um, I'm not going to mention any spoilers because I'll put that in the review. But honestly, I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. I liked it more than the first one. The thing is for me is that I didn't see the first one when it first came out. And then there was a lot of hype very quickly. And I think when things get hyped up, I tend to stay away from it because I'm like, meh, it's just like mainstream hype. It's probably not even that good. So I actually don't think I've seen it. I didn't see it in the pictures. For I don't think I've seen it for quite a while after it came out when the hype was like calming down, like maybe even a good year. Um, so yeah, I I remember the first time I seen it, I think the hype almost ruined it for me. I was like, I don't, I don't get why it was hyped up. Like it's all right, but it's not amazing. If anything, the first time I seen it, I actually kind of didn't like it. Again, that might be because of the hype though. Yeah, the more I watched it though, the more I loved it. And I actually really like Elsa and I think the hype ruined the first Frozen movie for me. Frozen 2, again, I don't know if there'd been no hype if I would have liked one more from the start, but honestly, like movie-wise, I like number two better than number one. So regardless of the hype, if I was to just think about how much I like number one or whatever, number two is so good. Like I really, really enjoy that. Like Elsa is an absolute queen. Like she is, but she is. But it's so good. Um, so I really enjoyed that. I just have quite a bad head now. Oh, that was it, we went to the cathedral. So yeah, we went and had a cup of tea in my favorite cafe in Durham, Venels. And then we went and had a wander around the cathedral, which is nice, because I lit a candle and did another affirmation. I use candles to do affirmations. I honestly feel like my face looks a little bit different since I had my eyebrows done. She's done them thinner, and I feel like it's made me look younger. I don't know, because this is how I used to do them when I was younger. Um, I've grown them thicker for the last few years and I draw my eyebrows on not really thick but getting on the thick side and she has like really thinned them out um and every time I see myself it's like it's crazy how much your eyebrows can affect what you look like probably speak to you guys in the morning so good night It is Saturday evening. I don't think I spoke to you this morning for a reason that you guys can probably guess. I have another really bad head. It's a lot better than it was this morning. In fact, I think I said to you last night, um, also you can tell that I am now in Birmingham, but I'm gonna explain everything. Uh, yeah, I think I said last night, I've got a really bad head. Yeah, my headache, I don't know what happened. It just got so much worse. Ugh, and I went to bed and it was like throbbing it was it was one of the really bad ones and um i kept waking up during the night and it it wasn't stopping like sleeping wasn't calming it down it was bizarre and i was waking up and it was throbbing oh it's the worst kind oh i have to stop thinking about where i'll make it bad again um so yeah i woke up matthew bless him brought me some pancakes in bed i didn't even wake up he was he brought me up my pancakes up like i just Oh, I hate headaches like that. Anyway, I'm gonna put you down for a second because this is hurting my arm. Nice chair. Oh, this is comfy. Shame there's no mirror here for me to do my makeup in the morning, but I've brought a mirror. And it's definitely gone down, but it's still quite bad. Um, it's nowhere near as bad as it was this morning. It's not throbbing, it's kind of moving, which is a good sign. Um, because if it's over this side, it's bad. But if it's over here, it's more to do with like aftermath and stress and I just need to chill. It smells lovely in here and it just instantly lifted my mood and my headache feels so much better already. It's a really nice hotel and I'm so grateful that Disney have put me up in such a lovely hotel. Um, it, like when I got here it was raining, I was carrying all my bags and I was just like, Ugh. just being silly. And yeah, it's just lovely in this room. It smells like a spa and um, it's really nice. And I'm gonna have a good time tomorrow, like I am. I'm gonna get myself up and get some breakfast. They pay for my breakfast during the morning as well, which is really nice. Um, so I've got breakfast and I'm gonna get myself ready and I'm gonna go to the Primark in Birmingham. And you guys remember a few months ago, I did the whole 
opening um like one of the first people to go to the new disney calf before it opened well that's where i'm going again um, i'm going back to the same primark and i'm going to the disney calf in primark birmingham it is to launch the new kind of disney christmas menu at the calf and i think new disney like mickey christmas collection i don't know if that means like in store because i know they have like plushes that you guys have seen i've done my shop with me video there's I've been gifted the advent calendar from Primark, like they've got loads out. So I think it's kind of just to do with all Disney Christmas at Primark. So that's gonna be really nice. Like I'm really looking forward to it. I'm gonna get a shower and I'm going to get it an early night. Matthew has made my dinner for me. Um, so I'm just gonna eat in the room. And then yeah, I'm gonna get up in the morning and go and check out the whole Disney Primark Christmasness. And I think maybe Mickey and Minnie might be there. So that's gonna be nice. Hopefully they'll be in the Christmas outfits, which will get me all ready for my Disney trip in two weeks. I'm gonna give you a little room tour and then I'm gonna get an early night. Okay, so this is what the room looks like when you come in. This is the only mirror in the room, which I thought was a little weird, but never mind. Um, so yeah, I've got drawers. I haven't had a cup of tea yet, believe it or not, because I have a headache and tea makes my headaches worse. But I do have breakfast in the morning, so I think I'm just gonna get a nice cup of tea in the morning. An ironing board, it's all lit up under there, it's pretty cool. I need to hang my coat up still. Um, this bathroom is so nice. It's, it's, I would say it's a nicer decor than like your usual like Premier Inn and everything. Um, and it has the same vibe as the King Street Townhouse Hotel that I stayed at a while ago that I really love. And it smells like it as well. It's not quite as fancy, but it's a similar kind of fancy vibe. Um, I'm feeling very lucky. Like I came in and I was just like, oh, this makes me feel so much better. I was really worried. Cause I'm on my own and and then especially when I seen two slippers and two gingerbread men. You know, I normally have my weekends with Matthew, so I was like, oh, I wish Matthew was here, but um the event's quite exclusive and it is plus no plus one, sorry. So um yeah, this this is what I was looking at before. It's like bent, so I hope that's alright. Um I was watching The Hobbit before and I think this is X Factor, but I'm not really watching it to be honest. Um yeah, so this is the desk. Uh, this is where I think there should be a mirror, but it's fine. I've brought a mirror and then yeah the, the, It's pretty dark outside, so I can't really show you out there But it's like floor length door mirror thing uh, windows it's pretty cool, but it just looks out on the street But um, yeah, isn't it really nice? I think this is a queen bed all for me, which is pretty crazy But anyway, my head's starting to feel a lot better literally since I got into this room I was saying that I couldn't afford to go down an event last week and then Disney have gifted me my train and hotel for this amazing hotel for an amazing event. I'm gonna stop talking and stop blabbing and I'm gonna get in the shower, have me dinner, I need to wash this mop and I'm gonna catch you guys in the morning and yeah we're gonna go and see what all the new Christmas stuff is in in Disney Primark so good night guys and I'll speak to you guys in the morning. Good morning everyone I have just gotten ready I still need to put my lipstick on and my earrings but I'm pretty much ready but I'm gonna be late so let's go to Primark. It's breakfast time, I've just ordered my tea and we're gonna get some food and look at all the Mickey waffles and pancakes. And apparently there's vegan stuff as well so I'm excited to see what it is. Okay so I've just gotten here, there is music on in the background so I'm gonna have to be quick. So there's vegan waffles, soy milk for my tea, overnight oats with soy milk, a pineapple stick which is obviously vegan and then some orange juice. I was not expecting this. Halfway through my breakfast, we were told there was a special guest, and then look, what is going on? What? I literally cannot believe this. This is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
They love her. <laughs> Collection of stuff that they've got on display in the calf for us, and they've just given us a goodie bag as well. And obviously, you guys remember the calf from last time I vlogged it. Hopefully, if not, this is it. But I'm gonna have to move really fast. Gonna have to grab my stuff. The shop opens in 10 minutes, and we need to leave. Uh, well, we're not leaving. We're gonna go and have a little tour around the store and look at all the new Christmas Disney stuff. So let's get on. So as we go on the tour, I just want to show you. So that's the calf over there. And look, they've changed it to Seasons Greetings Christmassy. Oh my God, I'm the last one. I need to hurry up. I feel so rushed. Wait for me. But yeah, how nice is that? Okay, I need to not trip going down this escalator. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 okay. I need to put the camera away. I need to put the camera away. So we're in the Disney section now. So I'm going to take you round. I don't know how different the stuff is from my local. So let's have a look. So they have like an entire Disney section at this store. Um, it's there's absolutely loads. I'm kind of around the back because I filmed it for stories and then I've come back on and filmed it for you. Everybody's leaving already. I am so not ready for this. Oh, I can't keep up. Well, anyway, this is all the Disney stuff. Sorry, guys. Um, and yeah, there's loads of Frozen. I think it's pretty much all in my shop with me video anyway. And then you can see this is the Disney section here. So, oh, everyone's, I'm last. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. So much Frozen. Oh. I might need one of them for when I go to Disney World next year. Okay, the shop has just opened. Look at the amount of people. What? It's Sunday. This is crazy. I would still be in bed. Oh my God, it literally just came around the corner and didn't expect this at all. What is going on? Oh, wow. Oh, look. That's so cute. This so just gets better and better. This is so nice. And I'm home. Gone from the Fab Six to... Matthew. The fab Matthew. How dare you? <laughs> oh, I honestly don't even know what the last thing I was that recorded that event was very rushed. Just because, well, we got there and I think there was a problem with the doors and they didn't know which door we were going to go in. So we were a little bit behind. Well, not like me, like everybody was. Like I wasn't late. I got the taxi on time this morning. My head was a lot better today. Um, so we were a little bit late starting, so we started our breakfast. I'm pretty sure I recorded everything. It was really hard, because um, I was trying to do my stories as well, and then literally halfway through my breakfast, yeah, the Fab Six popped out. They were like, oh, we've got some special guests for you, and I was like, I went around the corner, and I think one of the Primark staff recorded me coming around the corner, which I didn't realize, and I'd love to find that video, because it's basically me just going, what? Because it was literally the Fab Six, I, like, I'm still like, that was the best interaction, the, like, the best meet I've ever had. Like, you don't get that. Like, that that was, I'm very grateful for that. And then I went to finish my breakfast, and because the store was opening in like 10 minutes, they were like, we're going to quick take, take you on a quick tour. So they give us a goodie bag, which I'll show you in a bit. And then we went on a tour, and then we were at the front doors when they opened them. You wouldn't think it was a... Are you talking to me or the camera? A bit of both. Oh. Why don't you just talk to me? <laughs> so rude. Anyway, you wouldn't believe it was a Sunday, 10 o'clock in the morning. The, the, we, we made our way down, went through the Disney section. Literally, I filmed for my story and then I went to film for you and everybody had already gone. Like, we were in such a rush. He honestly, they opened the front doors and it was like a flood of people. I was like, it's 10 or 11 o'clock on a Saturday morning. Uh, uh, Sunday morning. I couldn't believe how busy it was. So anyway... I don't know if I give you all the information, so I'll quickly do it now, but hopefully, I mean, a lot of the Disney Christmas stuff I have in my last shop with me video, 
Um, so definitely go check that out. But there was a little display in the cafe, which I think I showed you. But again, all of that is in that shop with me video. Yeah, there's a lot of Christmas stuff out. But like I said, there was nothing new today. Um, but it was just nice to see what they had out. And the cafe's the same. It's still really pretty and all themed and everything. But I think there's two main changes. And that's... Um, today, they know I'm vegan. So they made me some vegan waffles, Mickey ones. Because I kind of like complained a lot last time. Because, you know, it's like vegan, it's like Mickey waffles, Madhu. <laughs> vegan waffles outside in the parks. Everyone was dead excited and then they weren't vegan. And I was like, that's not very fair. Like, why can't they just make them vegan? Because the parks make them vegan if you ask. So anyway, um, all that was available for me, for me last time was fruit and soy milk and almond milk for my tea, which was, you know, was okay. And I think pasta, but I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, they made vegan waffles for me. Overnight oats with soy milk or almond milk. I had the soy milk ones. Um, there was three different types, three? Three different types of Mickey shaped fruit and then tea. So I actually had a really nice breakfast. I just didn't get to finish it. They trialed those waffles on me. So I was like, oh, so these are available now for Christmas. No, <laughs> they were just a trial today to see if I liked them. And I was like, yes, I like them, introduce them. So they're gonna be available in that Primark, Disney Calf, Birmingham. For veganary, so for January, they're going to be available. And if they work, they will keep them on the menu. So if vegans want those waffles to be in that Primark from now on, once they are released in January, this is what I was told, get down there and order them and they'll keep them on the menu. Why don't they just keep them on the menu anyway? And then the other thing was the photo op down the bottom. I'm pretty sure I recorded it for years. There is one in Oxford Street store. Disney Pri uh, Primark. The Birmingham one got Mickey and Minnie and the Oxford Street one got Pluto and Goofy because they showed me a photo. And those photo ops are staying there. Sorry guys, if you, all you can hear is rustling right now. It's Matthew with these ginger biscuits. Um, those photo ops are staying there. Somebody is always gonna, there's always gonna be a Primark staff member. So even if you go on your own, they will take a photo for you. So that's really nice. And they're gonna change the Christmas outfits because there were statues but they had like clothes on. So they're gonna change the banner from like seasonal greetings and change outfits for every season and that photo op staying there and it's gonna be different for every season. So yeah, there was just a few more photo ops, a couple of different like things on the menu. And then obviously I think all the, the Primark Christmas stuff a lot of us have seen now, but it's, you know, it's still all, the, the frozen range is insane. Like that Primark definitely has a lot more stuff in than the one in the Metro Center. And I was on the train for three hours, stressing over my phone. Never go with ID network. Never. Um, they're an absolute rubbish. Like I'm not even I'm not even bothered if they see this. Like they need to sort themselves out. Like ID network, the whole train ride home, I had no signal. So everybody else has posted the stories and all of the pictures, and then five hours later Sarah gets her stories and photos up when she gets home. So I'm changing my network. And then Matthew was actually early and picked me up on time, didn't you know? Then? Um, yeah, so I've just been home a little bit and Matthew's gonna make some dinner now and I'll probably, sh if I don't show you the goodie bag later, I'll definitely show you it tomorrow. So thank you Primark and Disney. And obviously massive thank you to you guys because that meat is just like, you can't meet all six of them and it's not a permanent thing in the store. So that was really cool that we got to do that. I was super grateful for that, I still literally, honestly. I need to find that video of that Primark staff member seeing me come around the corner going, oh my god! I just couldn't believe it. I literally just thought it was going to be, I mean, not that it wouldn't have been cool if Mickey and Minnie were there, but I thought it was going to be Mickey and Minnie, so I just wasn't expecting that. Anyway, uh, me and Matthew are going to, what are you making for dinner, darling? Sweet potato and chickpea curry. Sweet potato and chickpea curry, so we're going to have some dinner and watch a movie. And yeah, I'll get, 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 get back to you guys in a bit. Oh, good morning, everyone. It's now Monday. Um, I didn't get to show you the goodie bag last night, but I'm going to show you it now because I've just laid it all out nice and properly. I was so tired last night, so knackered. Just that kind of like, that well, that, that fatigue that I get, and I'm pretty knackered today. But um, I'm just going to chill and edit the weekly vlog. So I thought I'd round it off here. So I'm going to show you the goodie bag. Um, yeah, this is really cool. This is really, really good. nice of them to give us this. So that is the goodie bag that it all came in and they've left the prices on everything, which is cool because I can tell you is, but that was two pound. Um, and it's like a tartan, so I would say it's Christmassy, but it doesn't have to be. Um, this is definitely my favorite. How cool is that? It is an adult double pom-pom embroidery mini hat and it's five pounds. So I'm definitely taking that to Disney in January, in January, in December. 
Um, this is double sided, which I thought was really cool. Why is it not focusing? There we go. So it's a double sided pin. Uh, £1.50. These are all great stocking fillers and presents. I think the tote bag you can only get in the Birmingham one because obviously it's the calf. Um, these little bath fizzes, £4. They're awesome. They are like shaped as well, like Mickey. Cranberry. Uh, so this candle is Eat Sleep Disney Repute. It doesn't say what smell it is. Um, it does say 20 hours burn time though, so we'll see. I'll test it and let you guys know. It smells really, really nice though. And um, this little cracker, 250, and it's got gold and red nail polish in there, and it's all Disney, so that's really nice. I'll definitely probably use them colours for Christmas. Um, cranberry Mickey lip balm, which I'm very excited about because I actually need a new lip balm, so 150. And you can hang it on your tree as well. And then yeah, look at these little pin badges, one pound. Three pounds, sorry, three pounds for them, but they are like metal, like they are good quality. So yeah, so huge thanks to Primark and Disney for gifting us that little gift bag as well. That was really nice of them. And it's all really nice stuff. I definitely feel like I'm gonna do like a Christmas gift guide or something. I don't know, let me guys know if you're interested in that. Um, I mean, I know I'm doing the shop with me videos. I'm gonna do another one tomorrow with Kelly, I think, or definitely this week. The battery's flashing, typical, so. Uh, yeah, I had a great week. That event yesterday was amazing. It was so nice of them to invite us down. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. And it's not long till December. Vlogmas will start and then I'll be going to Disney. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. Thumbs up if you did, all that jazz. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.